1 Corinthians 13 says love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It's not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Father, we thank you for the gift of marriage. We thank you for the pride, the loyalty, the comfort, the security, the partnership, and the love that we experience in marriage. And I pray their marriage will be a lighthouse of your grace, that when people see their love for each other, their forgiveness for each other, their acceptance of each other, they will see a glimpse of Christ's love for us. Amen. Anybody that knew Paula would agree with me that she would be extremely proud of you and the choices that you've made in your life and the woman that you are today. Mason, do you take this woman whose hands you hold to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you promise that you will love her and cherish her and comfort her and honor her and keep her no matter if she is sick or well? I do. Do you promise that from this day forward you'll forsake all others and keep yourself true to her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Amen. And now, Lyndon, would you state I do after each of these statements as your vow to Mason? Lyndon, do you take this man whose hand you, you hold to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Do you promise that you will love him and cherish him and comfort him and honor him and keep him no matter if he is sick or well? I do. Do you promise that from this day forward you'll forsake all others and keep yourself true to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Now as a minister of the gospel and according to the laws of the state of Texas, it's my privilege to declare that starting right now you're a husband and wife. And as the Bible says what God has joined together, let man not put us under. You may kiss your bride. So uh, Mason asked me to give this speech and he uh, asked me to talk about how great he is and about how lucky Lyndon is but uh, I thought that speech was gonna be a little bit short, so wrote something different. The Gibsons are great people. They're literally some of the most wholesome people you ever meet, and um, they're some of the best friends you could ever ask for. And uh, you know, you're gonna really fit in with the family, and I think you were already one. Welcome to the Gibson family. I've called her Kia for many years, I know it all. But I'd also go on to say, confident, caring, smart, witty, strong, funny, great sense of humor, stubborn at times, direct, and of course, beautiful. You're my one and only daughter, and we could not be more proud of you, happier for you, I love you very much.